Hello YouTube, what is up guys, it's George LFC here and welcome back to another player review. Today we have the big boy, the beast, Prime Frank Reichardt guys. And I'm going to try to keep my reviews now short, around 5 minutes. I just want to get into the key stats, into just some gameplay, the pros and cons and get into a review. I understand you guys all want to spend around 12 minutes looking at a player review. You just want to know, is he good, what are the pros, what are the cons and is he worth buying. So anyway, let's get into this right card review. And I'll play him with a shadow. Um... In a 4-2-3-1 with Roy Keane. So that's how I play him. But definitely as a solo CDM. Um, you know you could use him with. I wouldn't use him as a centre mid. So I'm prim primarily using him as a dual CDM. Or a solo CDM. That's what I would use right card as. So we use the shadow on him. And let's look at his stats now. Instantly you can see 90 pace. 88 sprint speed. It's ridiculous. He's rapid. He's very, very quick, especially with the shadow, right? Then he's got good shot power in 86 and long shots of 82. But due to me playing him as my CDM and on him staying back, he doesn't often have any, you know, shooting opportunities. And I don't really care about that. But, you know, obviously 82 long shots is nice. And when you're open, you know, unlike Fabinho, you can shoot with Rykart. Then... We look at his passing stats, and this is why he's so good. You look at him, 85 vision, so he's got good vision, good passing um, range. So with the 90 short passing, 87 long passing, fantastic, fantastic passer. We will not misplace a pass very often. When we go to the dribbling, and he has 72 agility and 64 balance. Now, that's where we're going to get into the review. We'll talk about that. But, however, he's 88 reactions. So, when the ball's bobbling around your box and stuff, he's very quick to react to that. Very quick to grab onto that and clear it out. That's a very, very key stat. 90 ball control. Once again, when it's bobbling and stuff, or when you go to intercept the ball, due to his ball control, he's going to intercept that very cleanly. And he's going to grab it and he's going to be able to break with, with that great touch. And, plus, he's got 92 composure. So, it's very, very cool-headed. You know, fantastic. Then we look at his defending, and this is just ridiculous. 99 interceptions, 92 header accuracy, 99 marking, 96 slide tackle, and 99 standing tackle. He is a beast. He is Mr. Daddy Longlegs in that midfield. You're going to have to be so precise with your passes to try to get the ball around when I can't. And then... He's got 82 jumping on 6 foot 2 with a 92 heady accuracy. So he's going to win everything in the air. He's got 90 stamina, running all game, 90 strength, and 78 aggression, which is on the low side. However, he is strong, so that that, that kind of cancels out. His freestyle skills, you don't really want to skill with him. However, 4 star weak foot, which is fantastic for him. With medium, medium. I wish it was medium high. However, it's not. That would have been just a bit better. And now let's get into the review. Alright, so guys, on the PlayStation, the last time I checked, and it was ridiculous how much it was going on the PlayStation, 1.4 mil, nearly 1.5 on the PlayStation. I did the SBC, so I got him for around 900k, because I traded in an icon that I did have. However, 1.5 on a PS4 is massive, so definitely worth doing the SBC. And then on the Xbox, is a bit more affordable, um, comparing him to his SBC that's still out in 1.1 mil. So, um... He's definitely a high range, you know, player. You know, he's gonna cost you coins. That's why you're expecting a lot from this Riker. Is he worth it? Basically, if you don't have the coins of Vieira, you're looking for Riker, right? Essentially. Or, or Balak. And Balak's a bit more expensive. So essentially, you're looking for Riker. And what can I say? Now, let's look at his pros. So passing. As you saw in his in game stats, phenomenal passer. He is going to be able to dictate the play. You're going to see a lot of the clips. It's him just dictating the play, passing and moving. He's the tempo. That's why he is so good. And just quickly with Roy Keane. That's why I love Roy Keane a lot. Because Roy Keane has very, very similar passing stats. So in this 4 2 3 one that I play, my two CDMs, not only are they phenomenal defenders, they are fantastic passers. And that's what just makes Rykard so good compared to gold CDMs, is the fact that he can actually pass so effectively compared to your Fabinho which doesn't have the best passing stat compared to your Kong Dogbia you know even your your Kante is alright but you know it's, it's not this level 
Rijkaard. You can see that lovely assist he got to Ibrahimovic right there. So, you know, you're going to see him be able to pass very, very effectively at a high rate. Then, his positioning. He's very good. Medium, medium, you know. Some people are going to be like, eh, he's really just going to be in the center of things, not really doing anything. But, you know, his positioning is fantastic. He's always there. He's always trying to put a foot into the challenge. And that's what you expect him to do. You know, you can always see him giving options for the wingers to pass back to. And you can to just allow him to just dictate the play. And it's very, very useful to have a player like that, especially at his side. You're going to see... Once again, you know, in multiple clips of him positioning very well offensively and defensively. Then we go to his strength. He is so strong. It's kind of what you expect, right? Six foot two, he's going to muscle every boost off the ball. He cannot be able to contest his authority when it comes to strength. Not only is he a beast with six foot two, he is strong. He's a machine. Then we go to... Um, uh, defending, defending is what you expect. Incredible, credible defending. You know he's gonna intercept everything. His sliding tackles are impetuous. His standing tackles is just gorgeous, and he is so so good. And then the last pro is his starts breaks due to his interceptions, due to his standing tackles. He can quickly grab that ball and bang. But because of his passing, bang, you'll start the breaks. As you can see, multiple clips. He plays it into the channels. For the wingers, always starting the break. So, so good um, in doing that. And then, clunky as a con. That's the only uh, con of a right card is that he's clunky due to his agility and due to his balance. However, you know, I don't know why you would want him to turn with right card. You know, you turning with him is a semi trailer. But I don't know why you wanted the intricate dribbling and turning with him. Like, what would possess you to buy that and expect him to be good? Like, Dribbling wise, like I mean, like agility wise, I just don't get that. So, like, that is one con, but you don't play him with that. He's there to win you the ball. So, anyway, guys, now let's get into the final overall for him. Easy worth buying for me. He is definitely, definitely worth buying. He's another 9.5. Definitely go and do the SBC. If you're on the line, go and do him. He's the cheap Vieira alternative. Tall like Vieira, incredible defending like Vieira, better passing than Vieira, just a bit slower than Vieira. That's the only difference though. So 9.5, he's the poor man's alternative to Vieira in icon form. Incredible beast, end game player. I hope that solved it. Go and buy this man. See ya boys. And remember, remember, relax, have a yours, and I will be back.